Anyway, we're actually like blitzing through this game already. Well, let's get on to this third map. Let's see how we're going to do here. So this map, this map is really difficult for, um, for Zenyatta because there's just so many flank routes, so many ways of getting around. You just generally, like the main advice I say going into this map is always be aware of like the big pillar. The great big pillar, that big pillar, right in the middle of the, the point. That's your main holding area. Like, you want to be using that for cover and just stay behind it and then use your DPS as cover. Like, use McCree, for example. But I think it's still around. Make sure that you're near McCree, so if something does come for you, then you can just flash bang it, kill it, no problem. Yeah, here we go. Let's see how this one goes. So again, the big thing with this map is there are so many flanking routes. So many ways around it, so many ways of just moving all over the place. So let's see, let's see. Again, I'm fine, just be careful of this. See it coming. Oh, we almost got hit by it. And again, I am fine with this very conservative positioning. It seems it seems ridiculously safe, but you just want to be poking up here. You want to be the last thing that people see, and then you just want to be like picking at stuff. The second we start running up here, like Reaper, a high level Reaper will go, <gasps> Zenyatta's just run at me. I just have to put my shotgun right in the middle of his model and he'll explode into so many fun little bits. Ah, ah. Like that's that's what Reaper's thinking. If he was a, a good Reaper, instead he goes and kills Soldier 76 and McCree for some reason. He doesn't want to be doing that, he wants to be killing you. And also this positioning right here, I don't like this. Because the enemy team, when they push in, the enemy team will usually come up here and one or two will usually go around this back route. We have got literally our backs to where someone is no doubt coming from. Now we have to be so careful about that because someone will usually go off around this way. So just be very wary of putting your back to that route back there. You want to be more around here-ish, even though the Reaper's back there now. He's only back there through dint of, like, pissing about all over the place and your uh, DPS going down to him. And again, we're very, very vulnerable here. And especially because we got Anna here as well. You also want to be topping off this Anna. Just because Anna is probably about to die. Although she's just healed. No, she still hasn't healed herself. This Anna needs healing. This Anna really needs healing. Again, for priority one. You should be running this uh, checkpoint, this thing, through your mind. Over and over and over again. Harmony, discord, damage. Harmony, discord, damage. Harmony, discord, damage. Keep running that like a fucking program through your brain of, okay, where's my harmony orb? Is it in the best location it could be? At the moment, no. This Anna desperately needs your healing. This Anna could do so much more if she wasn't on like 30 hit points. Desperately needs it. Step two, discord orb. Is it in the best place it could be? It's in a pretty good location. This blurry mass of pixels here. This is Mercy. It could be on her. She's very, very vulnerable at the moment. Um, but I'm fine with it being on the Reinhardt. If this Reinhardt decides to go for anything, then it will help him do that. But the biggest thing right now is that Transcendence is just in the wrong location. We're running towards a Reinhardt for some reason. No. <laughs> No, don't, please don't run at Reinhardt's. Luckily, again, the Anna managed to top everything off. They don't take advantage of that. Reinhardt, angry bacon, comes in, gives him a good porking, ladies and gentlemen. And then just kills absolutely everything. Well played uh, by the bacon himself. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Again, we could put the orb on this guy just to make sure he stays alive. There we go. Nice. No <laughs> Team is very happy about that. Team is very, very happy about that. Just a couple of little things just to tighten up the gameplay though. Like Anna, again, she really needs your help topping up. Everyone else can be healed, except for Anna. She has to heal herself with a grenade, and that's such a, well, worse, a waste of a grenade, basically. Don't want to be taking those fire strikes for any reason. You're just charging. Like, you're not even charging ultimates anymore. I'm pretty sure Anna has hers by now. You've got yours. So taking that fire strike does nothing but charge enemy teams. Oh, Shadow. And they just got a lot of charge in doing that. I'm fine with just shelling down the barrier though, this is good. You can do that from a little bit further back. Again, we're taking fire strikes for no reason. We just want to be that little bit further back. We actually want to be tucking into the to the right here because the, you can see Anna shooting down this angle. Reinhardt's also ducked this way so you can protect more this way. We want to be going around the barrier here because D.Va is right behind us. And now we're actually in a little bit of trouble. We're running towards Reinhardt's again. I don't know why people do this. Luckily... You hear the cry of nay. <laughs> Reinhardt comes in, saves everyone's ass. You use the ults here. A little bit late. Reaper, for some reason, decides to death blossom into a defense matrix and a transcendence. Clown fiesta ensues. Um, okay. 
But now we're in this situation, right? We're in this situation where you have two tanks. And is our Anna alive as well, actually? No, our Anna is dead. It's just you and two tanks. <laughs> I love his enthusiasm. Anyway. So this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. In this situation, the tanks can do a huge amount of work. This is why we're in tank meta, by the way. As long as the right one is being healed, you are perfectly fucking fine. You can use the tanks for body blocking for cover. They will charge your transcendence well. Get the orb on this person. Good. She is now recharging health while she has a defense matrix. You want to move this orb of discord so fast onto that mercy? Because right now it's very, very difficult to kill this guy just because he's being healed so much. That mercy needs to die. Fine with the orb staying on the diva. The diva is currently protecting you. Orb on the mercy. Let's kill the mercy. She's very vulnerable. Reinhardt somehow is still alive. Here comes the reinforcements. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry is here. Soldier plus Anna ult should be able to clean up pretty much everything in the back. This soldier 76 somehow is still alive. Good, 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 good. Down he goes. But again, I love this positioning a lot more if you just step back a little bit further. Heal this guy. Heal this guy. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Down he goes. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just a little bit slow off the mark there. Be very, very careful about duking out here. And again, just step back just a little bit. You can do all this spam. Like, we are just spamming into the enemy team's barrier right now. You can do that safely from four or five steps back. Here. Here. Where you have the pillar as well for cover. Because this is why. This, 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 this is why. This is why, guys. This is why I say that. Reinhardt's barrier, uh, by the way, so when it's cracked like, okay, when it's cracked like that, that's sub 500. When it's cracked like, uh, do, 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 do. waiting, 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 waiting. When it's cracked like this, this is, means it's hit a thousand. When it's cracked a little bit more, that's 500 and below. But his barrier goes down, we instantly drop. You notice when he dropped that barrier to fire strike, we just fucking plummeted because we're so far forward. Anna's had to drop a heal grenade, I think, as well at some point there. I think she might have used it. I think I saw her use it. Maybe not. No, I thought she dropped it then. But, like, she could have had to panic and use it then because everyone just suddenly drops slow. This is also why I yell at Reinhardt's for just fire striking into stuff because you could have died. If they fired a rocket, you would have died. And that's exactly what happens. You poke forward, you walk forward, and you eat a goddamn rocket or a shot to the head and just... Done. There is no reason to be there. There is nothing... You are not getting more accurate at that range. You are not being... You're not healing more at that range. You're not doing more at that range. There's no reason to be there, so why are we there? It's it's that simple. And it, sound, it sounds really condescending and patronizing saying that, um, because, you know, it, it sounds really bloody obvious when I state it like that, but... I do it all the time. Um, everyone does it all the time. I'm pretty sure mispositioning is just, just constantly asking yourself, am I in the most effective position? Why am I this far forward if I'm a support? I just want to be healing and healing and healing. You want to be in a location where you're nice and safe. I'm fine with this transcendence. You guys are on overtime, so if you win this next fight, you just win. Um, I'm kind of okay with that, the way this match has been going. Actually, let's look at the full situation and have a slap of coffee, because I need some coffee, because my mouth's going dry. There we go. There we go. So, our team is being healed up. Luckily, Angry Bacon actually managed to cancel the sights there, so they, they are down one. As long as this guy survives, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with this transcendence. You guys can still win this fight, let's race out, try and save that person. No, not quite there. The thing with transcendence is that you just need to go past people, especially when they have a healing orb. Like, we didn't need to stop here. We could have just kept on motoring towards this guy and saved this guy's life. Just a mi very minor thing. Don't stop and wait for people to top up. It, it just happens. Like, it's 300 hit points per second. It's kind of crazy. Again, happy, very, very happy with this. Just stop firing into this. You don't need to fire into this. But this limits, honestly, like, what Genji can get away with. Genji with Discord Orb is suddenly very limited in what he can do. He has to play very carefully. has to take it very slowly. And so you can just use that as a huge advantage. Just by slowing him down, putting the Discord Orb, uh, Discord orb on him, and make it very hard to actually work. Anyway, spamming the barrier. We're fine with that. Hey, free target! Again, healing orb on him first, I'd say, then discord orb on this, just because, bloody hell, uh, just because if he died, then you'd be in a lot of trouble, and he could die very quickly with Soldier and Anna there, luckily, like, you got to nail Anna with a headshot, beautiful, beautiful stuff, oh, the headshot's raining in, and again, this is where I say, like, accuracy isn't the most important thing in the world, and honestly, like, you did a good thing here as well, but let me talk about accuracy for a second, because, Jesus, like, what was he doing, anyway, like, this is why I talk about accuracy on Zenyatta not mattering so much. 
Because honestly, what we're doing here and what you want to be doing most of the time is just firing on head on head height. Like you are just shooting at head height and then suddenly, boom, dead. And like, we don't have to actually aim that much. And I know it sounds mean to say, but you'll be surprised how well this works when we're just firing at head height, lobbing, t lobbing these orbs at people and they are just dying. Okay, hammer down comes in. This Anna needed healing big time. We're trying to run towards the Anna trying to heal her. So one thing with Zenyatta, when you're trying to do heals with Zenyatta, is first, actually I think they prioritize the Anna for a second there, but probably it would heal her first, but in that situation I would just press shift twice. Because I know that it will probably pro actually no, it's already on the D.Va, so it will just go onto the Anna. So in this situation, literally, you just have to press shift because we're already healing the Anna. It will instantly go on the D.Va. It will instantly prioritize the target that's not currently being healed that is in like closest to your crosshair. I don't think you could have saved her, maybe, especially not with the games you're dashing forward. The reason why this is a good thing is because... Actually, do I like this? As we look at Genji. Actually, I think I would have been happy if you ran towards the Reinhardt. Thing on it, just being consistent with my advice. The reason why this isn't the worst thing in the world is you're basically like delta splitting, um, where you're pulling him away from the team, but he will reset charge. So yeah, we should, we want to actually be moving towards Reinhardt. So the and I know that the overtime burns down when he drops off the point here, but when we move towards Reinhardt, even though he kills us, Reinhardt and Diva kill him, and then you just win. In this instance, he runs off the point, doesn't manage to dash back on it in time, they lose anyway. But against a better opponent, for example, if they or if he just managed to stay on the point, then. Being fair, Diva and Reinhardt will still probably kill him, but it's just a little bit of a, an efficiency an efficiency thing where running towards Reinhardt means that Reinhardt can freely kill the Genji trying to kill everything. I'm That's it. It's a very fast 3-0 that oh, was sent in. Play of the game. There we go. Play of the game. Does Angry Bacon himself get it? There it is. Angry Bacon coming in with play of the game. What can this what can this man do? This legend of the game. We're pressing escape during all of it though. We're busy configuring our options as Reinhardt's just killing everyone. He's just too graphic for the stream, guys. It's all blocked off. We don't get to see it, although he does just run through and smash four people in the face as they go down. Beautiful. 32 offensive assists. That's pretty damn good. I'm gonna bring chat in. Let's let's bring chat over. Ooh. 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 Hello, chat. Say hello to YouTube chat. Hello, D, uh, DJ Mandrick YT as well. So, yeah, like, the biggest thing, the biggest thing by far, the biggest mistake I consistently see is just positioning. You're positioning too close to the action. You don't need to be that near as Zenyada. We really don't need to be there. We can be way further back and just safely go do, 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 and kill, 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 kill. Spam at head height, just lay in the damage. And, yeah, like... We don't need to be there. We just don't need to be there. Uh, now, guys, if you have questions, uh, at ESL, one amongst many, ask your questions, say hello to YouTube. We've also got a question in instantly from Jordan Jonah. Jordan Jonah have asked, do you only do reviews for PC? I had been sent console footage. Um, I will get to doing some console games eventually. I'm pretty goddamn sure I will do it. I've, I've stuck to PC because PC is nice and safe, and I, I know PC, so I know what the meta is. I know how PC plays. Console, I'll be a little bit less confident in that. What kind of new hero abilities and heroes would you like to see in Overwatch? Uh, first answer I'm going to give you is, can we keep the questions mostly around Zenyatta? Zenyatta or Nepal? Like, I'll take questions about either. Um, but, yeah. I would like to see some kind of area denial, like the, um, the Left 4 Dead 2 Spitter. Like, I love that. I love the Left 4 Dead 2 Spitter so much, where it puts down an area that steadily increases in damage taken over time. I think that was a really clever thing by Valve, where if you just stood in it for a second, it doesn't matter. If you stay in it, you die. And I think that's a really cool mechanic, so I'd like to see something like that in Overwatch. Um, I think you mentioned this briefly. Does Harmony priority target when aiming at a cluster? No. It will target. Okay, the way Harmony Orb works. A. It's fucking mysterious at times. Don't hold me to this. B. Um, it will usually target the closest target to you that is closest to the center of your crosshair. So if you've got like a group of four people, like let's say we have four people, I can imagine each point on my finger, the person or whatever, we've got a cluster of four people. Let's say it's like this, it will target this person, this person, this person, this person. So just like cycle through. It's, it can be a little bit finicky, can be a little bit tricky, but hey, it, it works. Uh, what, maps, well, what maps does Zenyada struggle the most on? Um, 
Li Zhang, I always have a hard time with Zenyatta on Li Zhang, just because there's so many routes that can kind of circuit around and it makes Tracer and Genji very good at just flanking around. Any map where there is just easy flanks to take, um, any map where you can't sort of perch yourself back on high ground, for example, and just be nice and safe and tucked away, uh, have easy access to health packs. Like, when you watch pro-level Zenyatas, they are so conservative. Some of them are a bit more aggressive than others, but they are generally very, very conservative, very defensive in their positioning because they know the second they reveal, that information is transmitted to the rest of the team and they can just die instantly. Uh, how do I know when to play Zenyatta instead of heroes like Anna? It's a matter of personal preference. Um, when you're in this, like when you're in tank meta, honestly, I prefer running Anna plus um, Zenyatta. Anna plus Zenyatta is honestly a very, very good defensive mix. Anna plus Lucio is generally like more of an offense mix, uh, but I like Anna Zenyatta for a defensive lineup. Zenyatta is very good just in general when they have a lot of very tanky targets, when there's a lot of high ground for you to play around with, a lot of sort of safe damage that you can spam away from, that kind of thing. Um, Zenyatta is just very, very good in those kind of situations where Lucio might not be quite as good, for example. Zenyatta is less good when the enemy team is running a dive comp, however, so if they're running like Winston, Tracer, Genji, then you don't want to be on Zenyatta because they're just going to dive you, kill you instantly. Lucio's a lot better at surviving that, you can hold that off. You can also clean up a lot of the incidental damage that like Genji and, Luc and Winston can do, for example. So he's very, very good in that. Uh... Otherwise, like, if there's enough healing, then... Z oh, actually, let's, let's answer Son Gotenks' question properly. Uh, Zen Lucio, a good combo. Is there enough healing? Yeah. Yeah, there is. It's not as much healing as perhaps Anna could provide. It's not as good in the tank meta as well. So if you're running a tank-heavy team, Zen Lucio isn't that good. Zen Lucio could be very good, though, if you are running a, a very dive comp. Like, um, especially if you're not very confident in... Like, you don't have a confident Anna player. Zen Lucio could actually make up for that deficiency. Because then Lu uh, Zen just puts Orb on, like, Genji or Winston when Winston's jumping in, for example. Or puts it on the Tracer. Puts it on anything that's sort of going to go in deep and be engaged in combat. If you don't have a confident Anna that can provide that healing, then Zenyatta could be very good. He can also just help pick out targets very nicely. If you could nerd buff Zen... And I know he means nerf, but... If you could nerd buff Zen, what would you do? Good question, Lightsaid. Um... I'd be very, very careful about doing anything to Zenyatta. I think Zenyatta is actually in a very, very good position right now. Um, he's in a bad position because like the, the other supports slightly overshadow him. I would say I'd probably uptune his heals per second just a touch. Um, th that's about it. That's all I would do to him. I just increase his healing that little bit because it just doesn't feel quite as good as other healers at the moment. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty good. Got John asks a good question. When do you use Zenyatta right clicks? I only ever really use them when I have time to charge it up and when I have an orbit discord on something and it's coming around the corner and I'll just nail it around the corner. Otherwise, I very, very rarely use it. Very rarely use it. There is a thing you can use where um, if you're on like one bullet left in your Zenyatta's magazine or his clip and you have to reload, uh, just using the right click will mean that you instantly will fire off like four shots or something. So you get three bullets out of that, but it's not a very useful piece of information. Uh, do you still think Discord should do? Uh, do you think Discord should do damage scaling? So, I, what this means, this is an idea that's been floating around for ages. Uh, should Discord be more effective on tanks, or like, you know, if you've got X hit points, should it be cutting down Y amount of that hit points? Like, should it be better on tanks, basically? I'd say no, just because it makes Zenyatta like an instant hard counter. The problem with percentage damage, and we saw this happen to League of Legends, is it just makes health completely fucking pointless. Um, you've got to be very careful when putting mechanics like that into your game because the moment you do you start just stripping out and undermining the value of health and when that happens then it undermines the value of healing and it just gets kind of obnoxious. Um, so I, I don't like it. I don't like that idea. I think it's fine being a flat number. Favorite skin for Zen? Um, Nutcracker is pretty goddamn hard to beat. Nutcracker is pretty goddamn amazing although I have to say I think I like the Molten Gin one. I really do like the look of that skin. The only one it, problem with that is it's slightly distracting. The, like, the glowing is a little bit distracting. I remember when you were on Overchat, you were talking to Stai about what you learned from the World Cup. You said not to spam Discord into different targets, but instead focus one to call it out. Yes, 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 yes. By far the biggest advice, and actually Logos was very good at this. When you put Discord on a target, fucking leave it there. If it's on a, like, if it's on a bad target, fine, swap it. But if it's on a target that everyone could fire at... Put it on that person and just goddamn leave it. There is a temptation because the ability is always up to just swap it, swap, 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 swap. But leave it on a target. Call out the target. Say, monkey discorded. And I know he's a scientist, guys, but still. Monkey discorded. Your team will just drill him down. You'll be surprised how well it works. Genji discorded. Soldier discorded. And be calling out those discords as well. Like, it really helps your team. Like, um, you couldn't hear Logos communicating there. But as you get better and better and better, you really want to be calling out Discord. You really want to be letting people know X is Discorded, Y is Discorded, Z is Discorded. Because you're acting like a shot caller for the team. And you're acting like 
you know, you're put, you're giving the team easy targets that they then know, okay, this thing is discorded, we can all kill it. No problem. Because Reinhardt only has like 400 hit, well, less than 400 hit points. He's way easier to kill. Winston, very easy to kill. It becomes very, very easy. What offensive hero does Zen synergize best with? Fittingly, Genji. Uh, he's very, very good with Genji. Uh, just Discord helps Genji kill things faster, and Harmony means that Genji can just do what he wants. Uh, what are efficient users of Zen's right click? We've, we've talked about that a little bit. Um, getting things coming around corners, otherwise it's very, very hard to use. And again, same question. I like to play Zen combo when Winston gets my orb. Yeah. It, this logic that Hunting Golem's talking about right here, uh, I like to play Zen in combo with Winston. He gets my orb and tries to Discord targets he wants to pick off. Exactly the same with Genji, exactly the same with Tracer. Like, this relates back to the offense hero question. When you are working with Genji or Tracer, just call out those Discord targets and watch them die. It's so good. And the meta being the way it is, plus, uh, Zen plus Reaper worth thinking about Discord plus shotguns. The problem with Reaper right now is that D.Va counters Reaper. Uh, so A, armor shuts Reaper down in a really big way. B, D.Va just defense matrixes D uh, Reaper whenever he comes in, and then Reaper just dies if he stays there or he has to Wraith form out. He can't do anything. M1 plus M2 shoots second order instantly? Yeah, okay, that's good to know. What trick uh, typically has helped you the most? Just focus so hard on your own survivability. I mean, you heard me talk about this. You talk, heard me talk a lot about this, but just focus on staying alive and being effective while alive. Do not put yourself ever in a position where the enemy team gets an easy kill on you. Like, you want to be near off the team where you can retreat into them and sort of stay with them, be near McCree's, Soldier 76's, that kind of thing, things that can help you, but never be in a position where if they just, like, burst the team down, you die instantly. You do not ever want to be in that position. If Ren mains Genji, perfect for solo queue, beautiful. If Zenyatta were an ice cream, I love that this question just keeps coming up. If Zenyatta were an ice cream, what flavor would he be? He'd be something very smooth. He'd be something very, like, calming, relaxing. I think he'd be like a, Zenyatta would be like a calming chocolate fudge, like chocolate fudge thing, you know. Um, do you know that chocolate fudge brownie, Ben and Jerry flavor? It's like my fucking favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor. It's just it's something wholesome and comfortable, relaxing, tranquil, peaceful. That's, that's what I think. That's what I think he'll be. Rocky Road. No, Rocky Road is goddamn Roadhog. That's Rocky Road. We, just, we decided on that last time. Uh, since the build up is based on damage done, does that mean Zen gives more ult charge to teammates if they attack a discord or target? Uh, yes. Yes. Because it's a damage amplification, um, not a uh, health reduction. I believe that's how it works. It's basically increasing your damage output, not the target's health. So you still get the same, am you get the same amount of ultimate for a kill on a discord target, basically. How would you change this right click? Um, I don't know if I even would. I mean, I'm fine with it just being like a very niche thing and a very specialist thing. Uh, I've, I've died to it in the past, but I wouldn't consider changing. I've heard people say that maybe you should have like a defensive ability on that, but honestly, I think Zenyatta is fine. Uh, I think Zenyatta is is fine at the moment. He just, like, the meta is just not in his favor right now. Kind of way he's dropped out. And Anna's so strong and prevalent that, you know, Anna is so good that you've got to take Anna. Then Lucio is the only thing that brings speed boost. So you kind of want those two things in everything. And that's always been the problem with Zen. Um, is that, like, the second someone else swings in with, like, you know, Mercy Res, for example, was great for ages. So Mercy just dominated. When Mercy started dropping out, then suddenly Zenyatta came in because Trans, because uh, Or Discord was so powerful that you couldn't really play without it. And Transcendence is just a very good ultimate. I think he's just very good as a hero overall. I don't really think he needs changing that much. Best thing you want to play on the pro scene is Chips Harjan. It's always going to be Chips Harjan. Uh, Chips Harjan was basically the guy that made Zenyatta a big deal. Uh, I like how Mort, like, Mort plays um, a very conservative Zenyatta. And I remember talking to Cruz about this back when in the World Cup days. It's like, yeah, sometimes Mort just goes on fucking holiday and the rest of us just go and fight stuff. Because, like, true story from the World Cup, I've told this story a few times. Um, but basically, we were practicing getting a hill and it's like, Cruz is giving us all this advice. Cruz, by the way, was, uh, is still a shot caller for Reunited, one of the best teams in the world. And he was basically telling us, yeah, guys, so what we do is you all stick together. We all stick together. If you're not sticking together, you're fucking up, guys. And then we all run in, and then I instantly die because I'm sticking with the team, just like I was told. And I, just, I say to him after the, like, we've done the scrim, yeah, every time we ran in, I just died. Like, they knew where I was because I was with the team. It's like, oh, wait, right, yeah. Everyone stick together except Zenyada. Because then, cause then they just kill Zenyatta. They just dive Zenyatta. Because then it's just instant Winston Tracer on me and I just die and just explode. Um, and that's when I learned to be very, very conservative. And when I started doing that, I started living longer and contributing a bit more. At times I was a bit too conservative uh, just because I was so fucking scared. But 
you learn to sort of temper that with time and you learn to, to like find a good measure and you get your discord out on the right target you put a high healing orb on whatever's engaging hardest and then you just stay very safely at the back and if something comes for you like tracer well then you can generally deal with her and as long as you're around a target like a mccree or a soldier 76 that can protect you you're fine you don't want to be up with the reinhardt for example where suddenly the enemy team can kill you um let's see do you think there's any other could do with your facial hair uh, I think everyone could do it with my facial hair. My facial hair is beautiful, and I'm probably going to be shaving it off on New Year's Eve. It's going to be amazing. Um, so we'll see. Do you have golden nuts? That's a very personal question, Robert. Very personal question. I'm not going to answer that. Uh, do you think Zenyada has a special hatred for Junkrat Steel Trap? I think Zenyada just likes humoring him and likes making him smile. And so that's why he gets caught in it. I think Zenyada will be frozen yogurt, not quite ice cream, but close. Sounds about right. Okay, I think that's about it for this one. It's probably a little bit shorter than the other coaching the menus. It's a pretty short game, but still covered a lot of good stuff. Hopefully, something to gain from that one. Hopefully, 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 something was learned. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me some feedback. I always appreciate it. Uh, Twitch chat, say bye, YouTube. Everyone say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. They'll say bye, YouTube in about 20 seconds. Is it ever worth the Nanobu Zen? Probably not. He doesn't deal reliable enough damage to really warrant nano boosting him. It's pretty much always going to be better on something else. Like he's very, very low prio on that target. There we go. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Toodles, YouTube. There we go, guys. That's that done. We are done. We are done with coaching the many. That's, that's what's going to get put onto YouTube. Holy shit, guys. YouTube still sucks. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in. Holy shit, guys. Ah, uh, good job. Good job, good job, good job. Hopefully that was good.